Yeah, I mean, I say all the time, if you are trying to sell to everybody, then you're talking, or if you're trying to talk to everybody, you're talking to nobody. If you don't know who your customer is, if your customer doesn't have a name that you are basically addressing and every social media post and every newsletter you're writing, then you need to go back and figure out who that person is. The best copywriters I know, um, a few of them have told me they always have like a specific person. Obviously, companies usually have like personas or client avatars or whatever you might call this customer. But the copywriters I know, they, they're like, I actually pick a person in my life that, that fits that description. And I think about that person, then I can write as if I'm familiar with them and that they know me. And it helps me, you know, they used to say it helped them do a lot of the things that you're talking about, like let their guard down a little bit, be a little bit more authentic. Cause it wasn't like you were just talking to the ether. You had a person in your mind that you were talking to and trying to create a conversation. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, when you are a little bit more vulnerable or you say something like more on the controversial side, which, you know, Hello7 talks about a lot as well. Like as your business grows, you have to be prepared for that. You know, not everybody's going to like you. Um, And you just have to say, they're not my customer. They're not my audience. It's not my customer. And that's okay. Okay.